Boy Made of Flocks is the story of a father, Alex, who's estranged from his family. Uh, he's had to leave his home um, and his wife, Jodie, and his autistic son, Sam. And he has to build a relationship with his son uh, f from outside the family home. So they get together online and play Minecraft together. And it's through Minecraft that they build a relationship and an understanding. And he learns that his son is a creative uh, and interesting young boy. Um, my name is Keith Stewart. I am the games editor for the Guardian newspaper and I am the author of A Boy Made of Vlogs. I was actually asked to write this book after I'd written some journalism about my son, Zach, who's on the autism spectrum. And I wrote about how Minecraft had been a really helpful influence in his life. And the big publishing company, Little Brown, asked me to write a book about that story. Um, but a fiction book. So that's how A Boy Made of Blocks came about. When I started writing A Boy Made of Blocks, there are lots of experiences that I had as the parent of an autistic son that I wanted to communicate to other parents who may have children on the autism spectrum and who may feel really alone. So I wanted to present lots of things that can happen to families wh where, where there's an autistic child to tell people essentially not to give them advice but to just tell them that they're not alone. So this is very much a story about what it's like to have autism in your family and the fact that sometimes people don't understand it and that's really really difficult but you've got to be it's, it's just about uh, all I wanted to do really was, was tell people that these are things that there's people going through all over the world and you're not alone uh, and don't despair. <laughs> I have had some really lovely positive feedback from autism charities but also people on the um, autism spectrum or people who, who uh, have relatives on the autism spectrum. I actually got a letter from the parents of an old university friend of mine a couple of months ago and they wrote to me to, to tell me that they have one of their grandchildren is on the autism spectrum and they found it quite difficult to know how to deal with her and what to do but they apparently they read my book and it, they just felt it gave them a really good insight into autism and some of the things you need to take into consideration and they they wrote me this lovely letter to say thank you for helping them um, understand their granddaughter better which was amazing.